more channels to watch because it just takes you on a journey anywhere you desire to go. But this is a whole different kind of journey, a journey into space with the refractor telescope that we have on sale today, <laughs> under $80, and it's National Geographic. And it comes with all kinds of things for you to be able to see the lunar details, planetary features, maybe it's Jupiter's cloud belts or Saturn's rings or some of the brighter objects out there that people are like, is that a UFO? There's so many things going on out there in the sky these days. By the way, it comes with two, two interchangeable eyepieces and a Barlow lens. Check out this beautiful system and this beautiful box that's gonna be a major wow for somebody under your, on your list, under the tree. But take a quick look because it is not a no-namer. This is National Geographic, and we all know what their dedication to the world is, and that's to bring, you know, things from afar a little bit closer so we can learn and grow along with the experience. We're gonna talk about this. We don't have a lot of these to go around, and I would love for you to grab one of them while you can because this sale price at the time where everything is full price in retail to go on your gift list or under the tree. We do special things, and Aaron Berger's here. Hi. We're gonna be playing piano later. We've got a fun well, hour. You are. We're doing, I'm gonna be, well, yeah, I, I'm gonna draft you. You'll okay, see. We, we'll we're see. gonna play together okay. a little bit. All you right. can play Heart and Soul, right? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, it would be fun. Okay, well, I'll, we'll, I'll, teach we'll try. I'll try. I'll teach you, it'll be All fun. Right. Okay. okay, so. Uh, we don't get to sell a telescope together every day either. I mean, there's, there's very few times a year, right, that we get to offer you this. You got it. And it is, it really is special. Like, so growing up, quick story, growing up, I remember two Christmas gifts, you know, just throughout life that yeah. were really special. And yeah. I was a kid. The first one has nothing to do with this whatsoever. The first, <laughs> the first one, my parents gave me a drum set. I'll never forget Aww. that. Are they crazy? Like, I'll never give <laughs> my kid a drum. God bless them. God bless them. That is what I think about that. Every time I'm like, they really gave a 10-year-old a drum set. That is wild to me that they were that generous and uh, had to listen to that. But at least we had a basement. Anyway, uh, but I also got a telescope as a kid. And uh, not, my twin brother and I got a telescope as a kid. And I will never forget that feeling. I, 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 you know, to this day, um, I think it's something we can feel so good about giving as a gift to kids of all ages. I right? couldn't agree more um, just to see what's out there. Just, and then the conversations you have about it and the research and the education along with it. And just the interest to which it might lead. Do you know what I mean? When, yeah. Once you see the moon, it, it, it can go so many places from there. It's just, it's, it, I think it's so exciting. So opening up other worlds uh, with a brand name like National Geographic, that's a really big deal, right? It's a, a, a name that is, is important in so many of our lives. You know, I, again, I think of growing up watching National Geographic specials with my mom at home and just uh, really sort of nostalgic things like that. This telescope is very special. It is the most powerful. I've sold one other from National Geographic this year. This is by far the most powerful. This has a 70 millimeter aperture lens on it. And what that means, it's, it's basically talking about the amount of light that it can gather. And this is perfect for viewing the moon, perfect for viewing uh, planetary bodies uh, and some deep sky bodies too. And we'll get into that in a minute, but I want to show you a couple things about how it works and how you put it together. So it's, the, the, it's so high quality. It's just very, very nicely done and very, very simple to put together. The tripod, you basically take it out of the box and you open it up. Uh, this is separate. The, the uh, tube itself is separate, okay? So it goes on very simply. It's literally one twist here. I'm gonna tighten this back on and you're um, essentially ready to go. Now, let me talk about the, the eye pieces in that for a minute. I'm just gonna move this over a little bit. There we go. This is where we get started. One of the really smart things is this has what's called a reflector that comes with it. If it didn't have this reflector, then in order to look, then I would put the lens directly on here, but then you'd have to be like this and you can't, maybe can't see it, but I'm, you know, down on my knees here. What's well, not very comfortable with the, ref, with the reflector that goes in it, what it means is you can stand up all the time and you can be nice and comfortable and, you know, stood erect and it's uh, much more, much more comfortable, obviously. So now that the, ref the um, reflector's in there, then you have your lenses. There are a couple of different lenses. There are two different lenses, but it's sort of like getting four lenses. I'll explain that in a second. So this is the first lens. This is a 26 millimeter lens and it has a 27 times magnification. Wow. Okay, so that's 27 times magnification right there. This, ha I'm gonna get to that in a minute. That's, yeah, real, that's so cool. Really cool. Know, yeah, that's, yeah. that's a really cool part. <laughs> this is your uh, other lens. This has a 72 time magnification. So whole different thing. What we recommend is starting with the lesser powered lens because it gives you a bigger field of view, right? And then you can, you hone can eventually on. hone it. That's right. Okay. And I'm gonna show you something else in a minute. Preview, preview. This is called 
a red light finder. This is the first telescope that I've sold that has a red light finder on it. This will help you find things in the night sky too, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna get to that in a minute, okay? So that's coming. All right, back to our lenses. So those are two lenses, right? But there's this, this really cool thing. Isn't it beautiful? beautiful? It's just beautiful. I can't believe this is $79. Right? You look at it, you're like, that's a $300 telescope. I, I know. Mean, it really, it's, it, it's the very, quality of it. I agree. It because we like have toy. offered smaller versions. We, we have, like kids' telescopes, basically. This is so nice. It's a whole different thing. It's, yeah. I'm glad that you mentioned that. It's designed, I'll mention, for uh, ages 10 and up, by the way. That's I what it that. says on the box. Mm -hmm. I think that's about appropriate. Uh, you mentioned a Barlow lens mm -hmm. earlier. So a Barlow lens doubles your viewing, doubles the, your magnification. Um, so the Barlow goes in first, and then when you pop in either of your lenses, like I'll pop in the uh, the first one here, the 27 uh, times magnification, that just doubled it. So now we have magnification between 52 and 144 mm -hmm. times. Okay, so what does all of this translate to? We have a video we're gonna show you. What can you see? Uh, you can see a lot of things. You can see a lot of things at, at, at different levels. So we'll take a look right now. That's that's the red planet. Max, my four-year-old came home mm. the other day and said, did you know there's a red planet? Aww. It's because it has volcanoes on it. I don't Aww. know where in the heck he learned that, but he did, I guess, at school. Um, we saw Saturn go by there. Uh, that's the Crab Nebula. You saw Jupiter. Here's the number one thing people want to see with their telescope, the number mm -hmm. one thing people look at. There's the moon, and, and once you get to start looking at it and start seeing the craters and start seeing the, um, the, base, the, the uh, geographical shapes on it, it's extraordinary. There's the Andromeda galaxy. I mean, there's, there are some really extraordinary things you can see when you and get going. That's what's so fascinating, because it's, and it's been so active. You know, lately it's like, I mean, the, the eclipses and so many things like so the blood, so. blood, what was it? The blood moon or blood, I, I can't remember what they called it. But it's just been fascinating and active out there. And then it's that whole conversation of like, what else is there? What else is there? Yeah. Get ready and get ready for some, uh, some other hard conversations as your child comes home with questions. <laughs> That's and be right. Like, um, let don't me know, look into that. Don't know how to answer everything. <laughs> we'll, I know. We'll have you know, discussion over dinner. You know, I, look, I, I'm not in, in, in uh, astronomical expert by any sense of the imagination, Nor but, but I. I have started to learn about it because yeah. I've started to, to um, sell telescopes and it's really been fun. It's, it's a, a, an incredibly huge world of knowledge, first of all, but this is a really great way to start. This is, and I will say this is not just a great way to start, this is really a step above sort of, you know, the beginner, right? This one in particular, I mean, it's National Geographic and, and we do have more of a starter um, model in mm -hmm. our system, yeah. but this one is that really, I mean, with all the features that you've already gone through, uh, the two interchangeable eyepieces, the two time Barlow lens that provides magnification up to 144 times what you could possibly see with the naked eye. And it's, you know, there's, there's apps on phones now to like show you what's up in the sky to show you like, you know, which, which, you know, what to focus on, but maybe you see it on the app and then you're like, well, let's take the telescope and see if we can get even in closer. Right. And that's the beauty. Okay, there was one piece you wanted to, yeah, wait well, to show Yeah, I want to show you that. Uh, so I want to show you that. Actually, let me do this two different ways. I want to show you that this has a panhandle mount on it first. So what that means is with one hand, you can control everything. This tightens the up and down motion, and then this on the front tightens the left-right motion. So you can lock it in once you find something. But it's so nice, it, you'll find that with the curvature of the Earth, things really do move. So if you're out there for an hour or 90 minutes looking at things, you really do move your telescope if, you, if you're trying to follow an object. It's so nice to have the, um, the uh, mount to do that. Now, this is one of the coolest things. Let me pop on a lens here. You know, we live in a digital age where if you didn't get a picture, it didn't happen, right? It didn't, it didn't really <laughs> exist. You're in luck. We've included this mount. This is a camera mount. So all you do is pop this over your lens and then you pop your cell phone on here with the camera pointed down and in fact. And these fact, are like little suction cup type things so it can hold your phone. We even have, I don't know if we can get a shot. You know what, I'm just gonna walk over here and grab the phone. Hang sure, on, we have a phone it. over on this beauty, but um, I'm not sure that, you, there's not a camera back. Oh, there is a camera back here. Oh, do you wanna do know, it from there? I don't know if that camera's on or, or okay. not. <laughs> but um, anyway, let me just, I'm gonna grab this phone and just walk it up, up here for a sec. So you grab your phone and you pop it on like uh, this. There we go, it would go like this. So your camera, right, goes over the lens, and now whatever it is you see, you can take a picture of, and then you can post it to Facebook, and then you can post it to Instagram, or Isn't you can take funny? video. It is so cool, you know, you, we, we share our hobbies on social media now, right? This is the way we sort of uh, sort of bring new world technology into something, into, into the so planet fun. we've been gazing at for you know thousands of years. Exactly, and we take so much for granted, and there's so much we don't know, and there's so much to learn, and it's all out there. I mean, I. 
my favorite thing is to sit at night and just look up at the sky and just, whether it's a black sky with bright, you know, stars, or if it's misty or cloudy or hazy, it's fascinating what's going on out there. And then, you know, even if it's just to watch the planes that are, that are going by, yeah. but it's peaceful, it's special, and something like this can take, like you said, maybe somebody's interest to a different level. Maybe it's just about learning for you and the family to sit and talk about over dinner and those types of things. It really is something, and this model is really nice. Uh, it's feature for feature, and I'm just gonna let you know, you get the telescope, mm -hmm. you get the tripod, you get the, the eyepiece with the accessory tray. It, there's a lithium ion cell battery. Yeah, I, I can explain what that is. Okay, please. Yeah, okay, so and actually that's a great, it's a perfect segue. It's almost, mm. it's almost like we've worked together It's before. almost like we planned yeah, it, okay. which we didn't. Which we didn't. So this is, what's quick, here, let me take this off for a sec. This is what's called a red dot viewfinder, where I'm pointing right here. And this, I've I have not um, sold a telescope with this before, and it's really, really cool. So here's what happens. This is how you sight whatever it is you, oh, there we go, that's a great shot. Whatever it is you want to see. And here's what I mean. When you look through here, this red dot, you center, you turn this on, and, that, and the battery's in there, by the way. And it's, it's pre-installed when you get it home. When you, oh, that's the perfect shot, guys. That's perfect, perfect, perfect. So you find whatever it is you wanna see and you sight it, line it up with that red dot. And the reason you do that is because when you're looking through the telescope, your field of view is much more limited, right? Because it's so, it's so magnified, magnified, magnified. So find what, you know, if, you're, if you wanna see the moon, you look through here, you make sure the red dot is centered on the moon, and then when you look through your eyepiece, that will be centered the same place. Now, you sort of calibrate that when you first get it home. These, you see these, um, these two little screws, when you move these left and right, that moves the dot a little bit to the left, a little bit to the right, a little bit up, a little bit down. And it it's very, very simple. Basically, you point it at something that's not that far away, and you use that to line it up. But okay, um, that gotcha. is a really, really professional type of um, addition. I was gonna say, it, assembly takes five minutes. The, oh, assembly is nothing. I mean, it really it is. It, <laughs> if you, there is any. It's the tube itself. It, you open up the uh, tripod. And then one uh, other thing I'll point out here, this is a, a place for your lenses. So you I can, feel like I've, I've spent more than $80 on just a tripod. Right. It's a, that is a great point. And this tripod, by the way, it's a full-size aluminum tripod. It is so so nice and it is so comfortable and you can adjust if you're yep. on an uneven territory right. and it goes all the way up I, it also has a compass it does yep so there's a compass right here that's uh part of your tilt mount that you know shows you uh north uh south east west as you're sort of orienting yourself and orienting yourself towards what you want to see in the night sky oh my gosh ready to embark on fascinating adventures through the solar system and beyond who knows what else you might and discover beyond. and beyond Great gift idea, isn't it? I, I still, it, there's free shipping. You've got through the end of January to make your final decision. You've got guaranteed delivery for Christmas. It's absolutely one of the most exciting things. Like Aaron, in his whole lifetime, and this has been a long life. It has, <laughs> longer every day. <laughs> Which is a no. good thing. <laughs> exactly. But to know that that was no. one of your top two memorable top two. gifts of your lifetime. Drum set telescope growing up as a kid. I Never forget fantastic. either one of those. Really, yeah. really cool. Well, it could be another, I think a third would be the keyboard oh, that yeah. we've got We're going to talk up. a lot about that. We've got the good keyboard. stories about that I am that so too. excited. It's going to be fun. We've done a keyboard started. forever. I know. Seven, uh, 16 years ago. First thing I ever sold on HSN I was know. a keyboard. I know. I'm excited. So stay on the line for this. This is the National Geographic Telescope. It's 832105. Pay a little. All it is is $16. This is the only airing today. So don't miss out. If you need to take a closer look on hsn.com, do that. You can even put your phone up to that QR code on your screen. It'll bring you right to the page. You can see all the specifics. I think we laid it out. This is the box and the presentation that you're about to experience the joy and the glee of somebody unwrapping. Maybe it's Christmas morning, if you can wait that long. <laughs> anyway, uh, we wanted to let you know a couple other things. I've got a really cool item from Westinghouse next, but this is the way to share with you that we've got this thing called Stream HSN Plus. HSN Plus, that's where you can go for free. You can dive into the total shopping experience. There it is, it's the shows you know, lots that you love. Plus there's exclusive shows and events. There's a lot of new and returning favorites and there's always deals that cannot be beat right there. It's all free any place you, can, you stream, but stream now at plus.hsn.com. So like I said, that keyboard is coming up the first in years for me to experience with you. But after this break, we're gonna talk about a DVD combo with a Westinghouse T3. 